friends. Hey, you look like a man who needs a maid. Maid? Yes, my friend. You have been with a maid before? Of course. Tell me, tell me, have you seen a maid so beautiful as this one? Come, look. Who is this? This, my friend. This one? This one. Mrs. Sheila. I have many good nights with this woman. And very good price. How if do you I want. How do I find Mrs. Sheila? I can find you, my friend. I can find her for you. And you just, you just pay her directly. Good price. This is Mrs. Sheila? This is Mrs. Sheila. But be careful, there comes a man who wears a gray suit and he has brown hair like myself and he tried to ask you for money after you have already paid Mrs. Sheila. Do not pay this joker. So do not what pay do I do? Cocksucker. What do I do when I pay Mrs. Sheila and this man comes? You don't worry my friend, just leave, just ignore him. That's what I did and I am fine. Okay. That's what I do with Mrs. Shiller. That's what you do. Trust me, my friend. A night with Mrs. Shiller, the best night of your life. I take your word. Okay, okay my friend. All right. I will help you out. Maybe I'll take Mrs. Shiller onto the balcony. But listen, you have to treat her like a lady. Be gentle. Maybe I will. So, uh, <laughs> I was just wondering, what do you get up to in this old place of this place? Very yeah, strange. I, I, I like men. What, what do you like? <laughs> what do you like to do in this old place of uh, merriment? I like watching people, doing, talking to people, getting to know them. Getting to know them, I think that's so, uh, it's so romantic. Uh, well, wow, sometimes. Sometimes. Are, are you doing that right now? Yes. To two men. Two brown men. Do you ever think how exotic it would be to... Be with two brown men in your chocolate pocket. One of whom has your voice. And the other of whom has your perfect... <laughs> I don't think I'm ready for any such engagement. <laughs> At this stage. Let's keep it civil, gentlemen. It's stupid, it's stupid. <laughs> So, gentlemen, do you have any departing thoughts? Hmm. Do we? Well, what do you think? I'm waiting for something to happen. Something of the nature of cock? Uh -huh. Cox. Perhaps you would like to be in a position where you are both vulnerable and at the same time receptive.
try again. Dear diary, why didn't he remember me? Maybe he doesn't know that I know that he knew about the thing that I know. Ever since he went to prison for stealing those Razors. He's changed. He's a drunkard. Prison changed him. Just hope one day he remembers. My name is Jamal. Too mad on Terence. And then. And then. Oh! Oh, I don't. Was it Jamal or, or, or was I just dreaming? Or, or, or was I dreaming of those two fellows I, I saw on the terrace? I, I don't know what to believe anymore. And. and, and did, I, did I go to confession? But surely. He would. I, he, Oh, hey, um, what, what, what should I do? Well, I, I can see them in that big jar of yours. I want to find Jamal. <laughs> but where is he? I thought he was in India. <laughs> what is he doing in London? I, I, I ought to still grow up and, and, and find him.
done, did you? So, I, I, I don't know who you are, but you had a good time with Mrs. Shilton. Son, I'm the man who owns Mrs. Schultz. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know anything about that. Son, I, I only know Mrs. Schultz. I'm afraid, but you're gonna have to pay for the pleasure you took with Mrs. Schultz. Now I'm a fat man. I will give you seven days pay. But, but I must tell you that. If by the time seven days have passed, the money is not in my hand, you will end up like my dear friend, who I had to have a word with earlier this evening. But, 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 He's but. lying <laughs> just no, behind me. Perhaps you would like to see him. I, I, don't, I don't think you understand. I will expect my money no. in seven days. No, Ms. Ms. Shulam didn't say anything about this to me. Seven. We have, a mutual, we have a mutual agreement. I have a mutual agreement with Mrs. Shulam. Huh? <gasps>